Before you watch this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Social Media Gemini TV and do not forget to press the notification button and to get more information. Good day and here is the latest updated of Azeng News. Indonesia begins vaccinate children aged to 6 to 11 years against COVID-19. Okay. Indonesia starts administering COVID-19 vaccination for children aged between 6 to 11 years old as the Southeast Asian country becomes one of the first in the region to immunize the very young. Health officials kick-started the latest vaccination program by inoculating around 100 school children in an elementary school in Jakarta, handling out vaccination cards to those who had received their shots. Indonesia approved a Chinese Sinovac biotech vaccine for the age group last month and about 36.5 million children have been targeted for vaccination. A senior health ministry official at briefing says the Sinovac vaccine is the only shot approved for the children in Indonesia and an official said from next year, authorities will restrict its use only for this age group. Drone footage shows flood across in Malaysia. The extent of flooding in Malaysia which has forced 21,000 people to seek safety on higher, drier ground. The country's most populous state in video shot by resident Muhammad Shahrul Azmir Salamat who said his neighborhood was spared as it was on higher ground. He said he is now marooned as road access have been severed by water. Malaysian Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaqub told a media conference rescue efforts are still underway for those trapped in vehicles and outside of their homes while reports of those trapped at home have been resolved. Twenty-one thousand people evacuated due to flooding in Malaysia. Efforts are underway to rescue Malaysians trapped in vehicle and their homes following severe floods that have displaced more than twenty-one thousand people. After hearing about people trapped by flood waters, rescue volunteer Muhammad Adib Haris Fadzila, thirty-one rushes to a camping supply store to purchase kayaks and life jackets while reaching out for help from the public via social media. Muhammad Arif says he disappoints with authorities for their slow reaction to the floods as two major political parties held their party conventions after torrential rain started battering the country and causing floods in seven states. The meteorological department warns of dangerous level of continuous torrential rain in Perak but has downgraded Slangor from danger level to alert. Some Myanmar refugees who fled fighting return from Thailand. Thousands of refugees from Myanmar who had been sheltering at a local Thailand school are being put into three trucks to be sent back across the frontier. A senior Thai official says Thailand has sent over 600 Myanmar refugees who fled fighting between the military and ethnic rebels back across the border. Some of them say they were volunteering to go back. Some crossed the narrow river between Myanmar and Thailand in boats, while others waded through chest-high waters while holding children. Human Rights Watch Deputy Asia Director Phil Robertson urges Thailand not to rush refugee back to Myanmar. The Eight Alliance Committee, a Thai-based Myanmar migrant group, says about 1,000 displaced people are camping along the Myanmar border at various points waiting to cross into Thailand. Thak Provincial Governor Somchai Kicharoin Rung Roj says that 622 refugees had been sent back and 2094 remained on the Thailand site. South Korea considers tightening COVID-19 rules as cases climb to daily record. Oh. Uh, 
South Korean Prime Minister Kim Bo Kyum announces the government is considering plans to further tighten COVID-19 countermeasures in a bid to curb the spread of the coronavirus as infection cases peaked at a daily record. South Korea reported 7,850 new coronavirus cases, its highest daily total, as breakthrough infections among those already vaccinated continue to spike, with the number of patients in serious conditions also reaching a fresh high of 964. Kim warns that the government is considering reimposing strict distancing curbs, including a ban on gatherings and a curfew on dining in eating establishments. South Korea has fully vaccinated more than 94% of its adults so far and it's accelerating its ongoing campaign promoting booster shots by shortening intervals for all ages. East Indonesia faces again earthquake with 7.5 magnitude. The meteorological department says a powerful 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck eastern Indonesia, triggering a tsunami warning and causing part of a small hill in a sand quarry to collapse. An eyewitness video shows clouds of dust which arose from the partial collapse of a hill at the sand quarry in Nagekeo. The tremor went about for a minute, which was then followed by a series of small aftershocks, but all workers were safe. Tsunami warnings were issued for the areas of Maluku, East Nusa Tenggara, West Nusa Tenggara, and Southeast and South Sulawesi. After the quake hit 112 km northwest of Larantuka in the eastern part of Flores, at a depth of 12 km, but were later revoked. Indonesia straddles the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area of high seismic activity that rests atop multiple tectonic plates. At least 48 people were killed and hundreds injured when the Mount Sumeru volcano erupted on Java Island. Residents flee into streets after a powerful Indonesia earthquake. Hundreds of people flee to the streets in cities across eastern Indonesia after a powerful 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck. So far, there have been no immediate reports of casualty or damage. Earlier tsunami warnings have been revoked by the Meteorology Agency. Eyewitness video showed dozens gathered along streets in East Nusa Tenggara province, while people could be seen fleeing a shopping mall in nearby South Sulawesi province. Indonesia straddled the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area of high seismic activity that rests atop multiple tectonic plates. At least 48 people were killed and hundreds were injured when the Mount Semeru volcano erupted on Java Island. Indonesia Semeru volcano kills 14 people. Semeru saat ini pagi ini kembali erupsi ya. Eyewitness video shows Indonesia's Semeru volcano erupting two times following an eruption over the weekend which killed 14 people. The tallest mountain on the island of Java erupted dramatically, shooting a towering column of ash into the sky that blanketed surrounding villages. More than 50 people had suffered injuries from the eruption, mostly burns. Heavy rain and wind temporarily halted rescue efforts as officials urged residents to be vigilant because the danger had not passed. Semeru is one of more than 100 active volcanoes in Indonesia, a country that straddles the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area of high seismic activity that rests atop multiple tectonic plates. This Megots helped Indonesia fight food waste at home. Tens of thousands of squirming white maggots slither over the devour of golden morsels of food waste. It may appear to be a revolting sight for some, but for Sinta and her family, the box of maggots or maggot box offers an important solution to two everyday problems, food waste and organic compost for Sinta's garden. Sinta and her family have been using the maggot box for the past few months and received new deliveries of maggot eggs every few weeks. After the maggots devour food waste, Sinta takes the valuable maggot excrement from the maggot box and sprinkles it onto her plants to use as organic compost. Maggot box was conceptualized by 20-year-old Indonesian entrepreneur Fatima Himatina at the end of 2020 and she only started selling the boxes in February of this year. She came up with the idea of maggot box while researching ways to earn extra income. According to Fatima, she was surprised that demand spiked only after a few months and so far Megabox have sold over 500 boxes to cities across Indonesia and even Malaysia. 
Megabox currently orders its Black Soldier 5 Megat supplies from a farm operated by a partner company in Depok of West Java province, where the Megaboxes are also assembled. The Megabox started kit is sold for 385,000 rupiah or $27 and refills of Megat eggs cost 200,000 rupiah or $14 per pack. Citing data from the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, the Economist Intelligence Unit's 2018 Food Sustainability Index reported that Indonesia produces at least 6 kg of food waste per person every year. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and bye.